I'm six foot tall, potentially five foot 11. Peter Crouch is six foot seven, and Kyle Hudlin is six foot nine. He is the tallest footballer in the world. Today, we're gonna check out his attributes relating to his FIFA card. He's 59 rated. Is he better or worse than that? You're gonna have to buckle up and check this video out all the way to the end. We're also gonna delve into his career and we're gonna find out one of the best coaches in the world wanted him. Okay, we're gonna do the one-on-one -on -one challenge. This tests strength, finishing, a lot of attributes for a top striker like Kyle. How do you think you're gonna fare with this one? This is more of a four-head four, 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 and I'm a zero out of 10 in defending, so that's gonna rip me to shreds. All right, let's get this going. I don't think I can defend, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think because of your long legs, yeah, I think your so stride true. is just like two steps of mine, yeah. basically. It's like I'm moving in slow motion. <laughs> the shot power. Yeah. And the accuracy of it. It's unreal. FIFA, up those ratings, man. <laughs> 100%. Where's the pro card? <laughs> I feel like your game is more about speed. Yeah. But you got the strength, but the speed, like, that's what caught me off because guard. That's why I was saying, like, before, that first touch is sets everything up. Okay, now we have the heading challenge. Kyle, I think this is going to be a no brainer what's going to happen, but the people want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see what happens as <laughs> well. That is like a handful for anybody and any defender in the world. What do you think? Well, it's going to take me the furthest in my career. 100%. So what I found now is I'm at a stage where I'm mastering my craft. And this is going to be the key part of what's going to excel and help me get to the levels of the Premier League and stuff. So 100%. I could absolutely see it. The scale is off Peter Crouch since another dimension <laughs> in my opinion. I'm going to go way back to the very start. Um, where did it all start? How did you get into football? And were you a late bloomer? Yeah, uh, I just always loved the sport. It's just something to do, like, what I feel like nowadays you don't get much of. I was always just out as a kid, mum screaming for me to come back in. <laughs> I was always playing football till it was dark. And I just loved it. My first club was Clatterville Town. So it was just Sunday league, like, really, like a family of mine, like, we were close with the coaches and stuff. And I loved it from, like, the age of eight. Then from then I was there till men's football, really. I was there till about 18. Okay. Went to a team called Bolmere, which was, like, Midland Comp. So it's, like, just below semi-pro. And then from there I went on to Solihull United, which was a really talented team in the same league as Bournemouth but there was a bunch of kids that have come out of academies and they're just giving pathway to people so it's getting the men's experience as well as just giving them a platform to play on and then from there I got spotted for Solly or Moors. That's when it started to... That's when everything... Best goal wins out of five. This is the shooting challenge. How do you think you're fair in this one? Oh, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm winning. 100%. This is probably my best chance to win so let's see. Hopefully I win. 
If I, I don't win, a if I don't win, that's my contract. That's my contract. <laughs> in this draw, we're going to be rating each goal from zero to hundred, tallying it up, and see who wins. That was my best attempt. The last one was definitely my best attempt. I think Kyle, you edged it. Okay, how would you rate your shooting then? You, the, no, the way you 9 teed it, nine point two. The way you teed it up was fantastic. I have uh, to say, finishing my best element, best attribute. I'd agree with that as well. Fantastic. The next element is pace and speed, and I'm gonna go up against Kyle and test it out. We were like neck on neck, halfway, and then it strides. Yeah, like, up here, or the floor. You go, you go from there to there, Right, I've got to jump in here because I'm quick over 20 meters, and I'm okay at 40 meters, but uh, Kyle, his strides just took over and I gave up halfway. But you can see the speed, and that's the point of this whole video. When Huddersfield snapped you up, but... Pep Guardiola was interesting to me. Is that true or false? True. It's wow. true. It's mental. Like. Can, can I just say, like, uh, you're just not a big man uh, up top. You have technical ability because somebody of Pep Guardiola's elk to say, all right, this guy is technically good enough to go come and develop at Man City. That yeah. just shows you have it more to your game. Like, for hearing that after like your first season ever as a pro. Yeah. Like, it's stuff you dream of as a kid, but you also, like, you have to take it as it comes because ultimately, at the end of it, one move did it happen. Okay, the final attribute, we're going to be testing Kyle's explosiveness and his leap, which is, I mean, we saw it earlier, <laughs> he, he jumps high, but we're going to see if he jumps higher than Ronaldo, one of the goats. Do you think you'll jump higher than Ronaldo? Yeah, I think I'll go. Well, you, you, you've got like a, how many feet? Like eight inches on it? Yeah, all right. What is this, six one? Six one, six two, yeah. Yeah, eight inches. Wow, you got, you can't wait to see this. This is the piece de resistance. And I'm gonna obviously go head to head with you and I'm just gonna show you how a normal human being compares to, that's <laughs> superpower. <laughs> superpower is a superhero. <laughs> all right, let's go. Just so you know, we're on point. We are measuring everything and everything is correct. Okay, guys, this is the leap challenge. I go first, six foot nine. The next one's seven foot five. Obviously, this is Kyle's height. So he just walks into it. It's hilarious, I know, but he is very tall. Seven foot five, we both clear it. Eight foot, my technique is all wrong. I go off on two feet. So I think I would have got it if I just went off one foot. But there you go. Kyle's just a class above. Nine foot seven. Now we're going to see... If he can get 10 foot, it's ridiculous. You guys have got to stay tuned for this. That's a joke. All right, guys, as you can see, the leap is unbelievable. How, how far could you go? Sh shall we try one more where you go 10 foot? Yeah. Try All right, we'll go one more, 10 foot. Wow. Wow. Ronaldo. That's the challenge. Ten foot high. Probably the. That's probably the biggest leap in football history. Yeah, it has to be. What are your future aspirations? Is it to play for England? Is it to go to the World Cup? Is it to win the Champions League, the Premier League? Step by step, what is your route to the top? Um, how do you see it? Right now, the way my goals are set is obviously uh, hopefully Wimbledon get promoted again. Then I have aspirations to play for this first first team. What bigger goals are? I dream to play in the Premier League, I dream to play for England and as long as I stay focused, I keep being a sponge to the people that have been there, done it around me, 
Like that's the best best thing I could possibly do. I haven't had the academy training that everyone else around me has been fortunate enough to have. So at the moment I'm just being that sponge and just really absorbing all the information that can give me to become the best footballer I can be. And with the advice and with my work ethic, I believe I can get the Premier League play for England. And that's something I'll always believe and achieve. I look forward to seeing that, man. Definitely. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload. And follow the socials, they'll be down below in the description.